Good morning, and welcome back to our pilgrimage through the summer. Today is day 29 at the Institute for Priestly Formation, as well as Monday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time. Today, we have the two programs that have been running parallel to each other, continuing as we anticipate adding a third program, the 30-day retreat, as the men who are going to be making the spiritual exercises arrive tomorrow. But uh, today, we, we have the two programs. Uh, the 12 priests in the Seminar for Seminary Spiritual Direction are going to look at the history of spiritual direction today and then zero in on how is it that spiritual direction came to be such an essential part of seminary formation. And then they'll kind of unpack together the specific role of the spiritual director within the overall context of formation at a seminary. The seminarians in the 10-week summer program um, for the last two weeks have had two classes. On Friday of last week, their class on the spirituality, diocesan priesthood ended. And so now they only have one class that's in the morning. And we'll talk about what their afternoons will look like uh, more specifically tomorrow. But today in their class on celibacy and sexuality, the seminarians will learn more just about the practicalities of social media, of, of Facebook, of um, texting, of, of the smartphone uh, phenomena. Um, and how it really just pulls them out of being present to the present moment. And therein pulls them out of being present to God, who is present to them in the present moment. Our seminarians have very generous hearts. They're great men. Um, and uh, the future priests, or e even the priests that we have now who are serving us, uh, are men who also come from the culture. And as the culture is so inundated and so, in many ways, enslaved to social media and all the devices and gadgets that pull us out of the present moment, it's important for us to know that uh, that's where the Lord meets us. He meets us in the specific context of our daily life. And so as the seminarians come from a culture that is so busy amongst many things, we're going to talk to the men today about how that can actually be, uh, whether you call it an addiction or just a profound distraction. And so if you were at IPF, uh, we would encourage you to to ask yourself about the present moment. How present to the present moment are you? You know, because those same gadgets that the seminarians have, you and I have. Uh, those same smartphones, you and I have them. Facebook, you and I have it. Um, and there's nothing wrong with those things in and of themselves. In and of themselves, social media can be a profound gift. Uh, just look at the way that um, social media has been helpful in the recovery of the personal items for the families who were... Um, really destroyed and devastated through those two tornadoes and in, in, uh, here in Nebraska. Social media has been very helpful for that. So there's nothing wrong with it in and of itself. But, you know, the, the, the smartphones, the texting, the, the constant um, tweeting and things like that, that can really pull us, you and I, out of the present moment. Or there's, there's, there's often just a general, I think, hum in so many of our lives, whether it's actually having a gadget and electronic device in our hands or not, it's just hard sometimes for you and I to be present to the present moment and present to the people who are present to us. I, I have to repent myself at how many times I've, I've um, been in the office at Christ the Redeemer and, and uh, have something on my mind, have a number of tasks that I want to, you know, get, get done and and, and beautiful people are right in my midst. And, um, and, and so many times I, I miss the opportunities for conversation in front of me because I'm so focused on other things. And, and again, I think today's invitation challenges me just as much as it challenges anybody. But how many times, like in our families, like uh, our kids want to be present to us and, and like parents are just so focused on other things that they miss those windows or vice versa. Like parents want to connect with their kids and just see how things are going and, and their kids are so wrapped up in gadgets that they, they don't know how to communicate with each other. So it could be with our spouses. Like one spouse is just not present to the other spouse, even though they're physically in the same um, locations with each other. I think a lot of us know how hard it is to be present to the present moment. It's important in our spiritual life because that's where God is. God doesn't live in the past. God doesn't live in the future. While he certainly knows our future and while he certainly reverences our history, God's with us now, right now, in the present moment. 
And if you and I are able to let go of the gadgets, if we're able to let go of the distractions, and if we are able to be present to the present moment, then not only will our relationships with people flourish, but our relationship with God will deepen. So today, if you were at IPF, we'd ask you to be present to the present moment. And as you go through your day today, simple exercise. Just monitor yourself. How often do you grab the phone? How often do you go to turn on the radio? How often do you compulsively grasp at something on the internet? And how comfortable are you with silence? Just to be quiet, just to be present to the present moment. Let's let the Lord guide us. Let's let the Lord teach us about freedom. Let's be present to the present moment. God bless you.